part of the, our inside testing machines. See the structure of the universal inside testing machines. Opposite trading part is there. This is the lower jaw. That one is upper jaw. And uh, we can get it in the enzyme testing specimen in between these two jaw. So this piece is whether it is visible to all. Hello? Yes, for me, no, there is no problem. It is audible to school, no problem. Okay. okay. So, uh, the test piece like this, it is a hill between the school jaw. This is movable jaw. Okay. So, lower jaw, this is movable jaw. And this jaw, this is fixed. Okay. So, this jaw, uh, we can move up like this. And by this right side, there is the control panel. So control panel having two balls. We can get it closed in initial position. So working conditions, we can close this and slowly we can open it so that this ramps movement will take place like this way. And this side, we have one VC. With the help of this, uh, we can get uh, one graph. So this graph contains uh, load versus displacement. In vertical axis, we will have to see the load which is applied on this specific vertical axis and displacement means uh, in the gauge length, whatever the displacement will be there, it will get recorded on the graph. So you will have to see the graph just like space square graph. Okay. So this graph uh, after testing, uh, you will have to see that graph on the specimen. The capacity of uh, this uh, universal cancer testing machine is 100 tons capacity is there. And normally in industry, uh, we can use such type of machines for testing uh, materials. Initially, uh, in the industry, you will have to see the uh, any rolling part, just like uh, just like this part. So you can uh, see. In my hand, like this job, or variety of uh, material you uh, will have to see in the industry. So it is not possible to check the, all the material, but uh, you can take one sample, and after taking sample, as per Indian standards, uh, we have to uh, make a specimen like this way. Make the specimen like this. Now, how to uh, design this specimen? This is very important. So uh, I will tell to you uh, how to design this specimen. So let us consider uh, this is uh, around one feet. Okay. So initially this piece is like this way. So as per the capacity of machines, uh, you have to uh, select any working loads, maybe 20 tons, 25 tons, like this way. So uh, trace of strength. This is equal to force upon cross section area. This formula you might not know. Force uh, which is applied on this specimen. Uh, A stands for the cross section area of this. So, area, how to calculate this area? Y by 4, D square. D is the diameter of this block. Okay. So, initially, you have to decide this diameter as per this. Okay. Uh, now, uh, in my hand, uh, this block is, uh, let us. Uh, 12 mm, we will consider 12 mm. So I will take uh, this diameter 10 mm. So pi by 4 into p square. p is our 10. Means 10 into 10 into 5 divided by 4. So we will get the cross section. So cross section here, you can take the root of that cross section area. The root of cross section area into 5.6 by as per Indian standard you will get this gauge length. So this is called gauge length. And this diameter is called gauge diameter. So in industry, always, uh, you have to follow this basic principle. It will come under the quality controls. I will repeat once again. Initially, you can take material like this green black color. Uh, depends upon these diameters, you can select the uh, uh, gauge 
gauge diameter. So in this, uh, this is 12 mm. So I have selected this is the 10 mm. So with the help of 10 mm diameter, you can calculate the cross section area. Okay. So after calculating this cross section area, you can take the root of that. Root of this cross section area into 5.65. So uh, this is the formula as per the BIS standard. Okay. Our British uh, standard is that we can follow this uh, as a Indian standard. So once again, I will repeat. A length, this is equal to 5.65 root of A. A means project. So with the help of this, we can design this gauge length. And uh, uh, after applying the load of this, the elongation will be takes place. And that elongation, how to calculate change in length divided by original length. And tensile strength, how to calculate force upon cross section area. So, force uh, here, uh, you will get force in this uh, piece also. But in older days, uh, uh, here it was uh, one clock was not there. And with the help of cross, you can also get the load. So, that load divided by cross section area. That is your tensile strength. But here you will get graph as well as directly tensile strength. So once again, I will repeat tensile strength that is equal to force upon cross area. Force is applied force. With the help of this, that is the force. And A means area of the cross section, cross section area with gauge diameter. So you will get tensile strength. Suppose this load is in kg. Now we have in the machine, it is in kilometer. But always in industry, they used to follow kg. You can convert 1 kg that is equal to 9.8 newton. Or with the help of this, you can convert into kg. Okay. So uh, apply load is, suppose it is in kg. And after this, the elongation will take place, but when we get break. Okay, so apply load that is in kg divided by cross section area. So this diameter always you have to take in mm. Okay, so here's the kg per mm that is your tensile strength. You can see in your book also tensile strength always it has been mentioned in terms of kg mm square. Kg mm square why? Apply load is kg and cross section area, the value of the cross section area. It has been calculated in terms of mm square. So, kg for mm square is the tensile And elongation, how we can calculate? Uh, this is the original length. After breaking, once again, we can draw this one piece. We can get the change in length. So, original length, a change in length divided by your original length, you will get that uh, elongation. At the same time, we talk of load versus displacement, we get yield point. And corresponding strength is yield strength. After that, this component will get fraction. That is your ultimate tensile strength. Okay. And corresponding uh, load, that is the last load, ultimate load. Okay. So ultimate load divided by cross section will get the ultimate, ultimate strength of the job. So this is the uh, practical related to our metal. Now, already uh, we have created the job between two jobs. So, let us restart our this today's practical. Just uh, we can apply the load on the job. Uh, before this, uh, anybody having any doubt related to this and what is the importance of this type of test in industry? Because without this, uh, this test, uh, we cannot uh, know about the strength of this material and without strength we cannot design uh, any product any material or any assembly form so strength this is very very important that's why after getting the raw materials from the resource to the industrial premises there is a need to uh, change the mechanical property by using this type of stresses uh, festival which this tensile strength, strength is one of the mechanical property Elongation, this is the mechanical property. Real strength, this is the mechanical property. Ultimate tensile strength, this is also mechanical property. Hardness also, this, this is also mechanical property. So initially, we have to change the mechanical property. At the same time, we can go through the 
chemical composition of this. Nowadays in industry they are using petrol, but uh, before ten years back they used to uh, go for uh, the calculation by the chemical analysis how much carbon and etc. But nowadays if you few seconds you will get the chemical compositions of any job with help of petrol machine. It is available in normally every MIDC. So wherever the raw material it will come in our industry premises, it is our basic need or it is the responsibility of our mechanical engineer to uh, change that material mechanically and chemically. Okay. And if there is a problem, we can stop that, stop their production. Otherwise, the ultimate quality of product it is depends upon the raw material. If raw material having a problem, there is ultimately quality problems with that. And uh, the industrial customers need because of the quality we get break. There is no revenue, you will not get our salary. So this is the very important uh, of this cancer skin. Okay. So in India, I mean, you can ask this. It is a very, very important when you reach in industry. Uh, this is the first step uh, in industry. It is your first responsibility in industry. Anybody having any problem? How to uh, design the gauge length? Anybody can tell me how to design the gauge length? How to नहीं म्यूट के लिए लाइक सब ऐसा तो चैट करो शब्द क्यों री क्यों री मधे इधर क्यों री मधे टक दिल करने तो दें एनी बड़े आई कैन क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन पुट ऑन दिस माय व्हाट्सएप और बॉक्स चैट बॉक्स चैट बॉक्स मधे you can put any question in chat box. Up to now, we need question in chat box. No question. Only related to video quality. Video is coming a little blur. Blur. Uh, due to network. Now it is clear. It is clear. It is clear. Here it is showing clear. Is it necessary yes. to repeat all this explanation? You no. can ask. I will check out. Because here, whether you are having any problem, no question. Uh, you can ask uh, Sindhya sir. You can ask the product. Anybody having any problem? Because this is very very important test in industry. After this, directly you can go in industry and test. Then you will get the job. The initial. This is the initial stage in industry. Okay. Shall we start? Yes. Okay. No question. If question is there, you can ask to me any time. So let us we start. We can apply the load on the lower jaw. Okay. And uh, you can see this machine at the same time here. Uh, you will get one graph, vertical axis load will be there, horizontal axis displacement will be there. So your graph is just like your displacement graph. Yield point is there, lower and upper yield points after this. Ultimate SLC and after that fractures then there at the fractures the the break this the your job will be break. Capacity of this machine is hundred ton. Uh, questions uh, may get in your external oral. I will see in the UTM machine what is the capacity of this machine. The capacity of this machine is 110. What is the name of this machine? Computerized universal testing machines. Okay. Here it is written 1000 kiloliter. If you convert, it will get 100 tons. Uh, name of the company, Crystal is there. This company, uh, it is in itself considered to collapse crystals, computerized universal tensile testing machine. Why the name is given universal? 
Why the name is given universal? We can test any. We can test the tensile. We can measure the elongation. We can measure the fracture strength. And at the same time, uh, we can uh, measure the compression strength. Compression. And at the same time, so we can measure the bending strength. Here we can put the jobs and apply loads. Uh, you will get bending strength. So bending strength. Compressive strength, tensile strength, elongations. So this much uh, property we get to this machine. So that's why the name is given universal tensile testing machine. दाखो तो कितने चालू खेल रहे हैं हम चालू खेल रहे before five years back, we tested their color pictures are there, mm -hmm. and in that survey, one was broken and inserted in this test. Now that place is there, broken. Mm -hmm. It is very dangerous. So always we have to keep away from this because it will get break immediately. If we have made cover up. क्वेश्चन
सर एक्सप्लेनेशन दे होगा प्रीवियस इट इज ऑडिबल ना तुमचे डोक वरते so our calculated gauge length is 150 mm gauge diameter is 10 mm gauge diameter 10 mm gauge length 150 mm ha hmm? ah. so let us we see uh, now on the machine will going to start after breaking you will get sound at the same time the graph will be here you can see here the graph graph is there so a vertical axis load is there vertical axis load and this is the display where the graph will get developed so like this graph this is the load applying the load and this is the displacement the graph will get developed just like a stress strain curve at the end you will get the curve just like stress strain आफ्टर ब्रेकिंग हा यू यू गो दिस यू गो दिस यू कैन कीप युअर सेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम दिस मशीन बिकॉज इट विल गेट ब्रेक material so uh, whatever material we have selected that is the mild steel low carbon steel whatever material we have selected for this specimen that is the low carbon steel it is also called mild steel i think you might have uh, got the uh, machine sound 
machine is in a running condition at the same time sir at the uh, right side now it is broken you can see here ओके चलो अच्छा ओके ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द ब्रोकन स्टील सो हियर इट हैज बीन ब्रोकन एंड दिस इज द लास्ट डायमीटर अराउंड सेवन एम एम last diameter this is the broken piece so around uh, 51 kilo newton it has been uh, broken so you can uh, go in this graph so this is the displacement around 51 and here this graph it is broken here correct so 51 kilo newton 51 kilo newton so uh, you can calculate uh, tensile strain 51 kilo newton divided by pi by 4 d square d square diameter this diameter is 10 okay pi by 4 10 into 20 and force is 51 kilo newton so 51 kilo newton you can convert into kg 1 kg that is equal to 9.8 newton convert that 
you will get the tensile strength so that is the ultimate answer for this specimen okay so this is about the tensile strength how to test okay so how to calculate tensile strength uh, audible no audible no video is not there so no, it is visible no okay so once again explain so now this work piece is broken and reduction diameter is uh, 7 mm so change in length divided by original length related to gauge length so might have increased this length might have increased length this much okay so change in length divided by original length into 100 you will get uh, the your elongation and tensile strength force upon cross section area force here in this computer you will get a 51 kilo newton divided by a a is the cross section area of this you will get tensile strength so this from this graph also uh, you will get the information without graph also uh, you will calculate this mechanical property how once again i will repeat uh initially work piece is like this way you have to uh, decide the gauge length and gauge diameter as per indian standard so if you selected a gauge diameter is 10 so 10 uh with help of 10 diameter you can calculate uh, the cross section area of that and uh, root of that cross section area into 5.65 you, you will get the gauge length so this is the original gauge length after uh, breaking uh, you will get uh, one more uh, gauge length increasing length so change in length divided by original length into 100 you will get percentage elongation okay and from this graph uh, you will get yield point corresponding load that is yield load so yield load divided by cross section area of this component you will get yield strength after that you can go uh, to the ultimate tensile strength corresponding load in the graph you have to see that load you have to get force divided by area means that load divided by area you will get ultimate strain okay so uh, from this graph also you will get one yield load fracture load yield load you can calculate yield strain and fracture load you can calculate fracture strain ultimate load you can calculate ultimate strain yield point also from graph you will get elongation also you will get from the graph so this much property you will get from this machine so this is about the tensile strain so design of the specimen and testing of the specimen and you have to uh, get the uh, elongation yield point yield strain ultimate strain fracture strain these are the property and you can compare this property with indian standards for example this is the mild steel or low carbon steel what is actually uh, tensile strength it is given in indian standard book okay um, in that book uh, suppose tensile strength is uh, 55 kg mm square so if this material is same material your tensile strength must be minimum 55 what is actually specified in indian standard book minimum above that it is allowed but if it is below that you can reject that material so accept the raw material or reject the raw material in industry 
this is the responsibility of you engineer okay if you uh, accept uh, the wrong material if you are not knowing this case and if you accepted the wrong material ultimate quality of product will remain wrong and that product will get supplied to the customers if the quality is not there you will not get more customers revenue will not be there company will come to in closing position so this is the importance of this step correct so today uh, we have completed tensor strength now let us we go to our sharpie and impact test okay so we will go to that side sharpie and impact test so uh, let us uh, see first over here uh, some write up parts related to isod impact and sharpie test uh, here isod impact maximum impact energy of pendulum is 168 joules this is the energy absorbed by the component angle of pendulum that is 90 degree striking velocity of pendulum this is the velocity it is given and sharpie test you can follow this so initially uh, we can go to sharpie test sharpie test uh, the angle of pendulum is 141.8 job job put hai job put hai ha vertical job hai vertical vertical cantilever hai sir cantilever hai हरिजेंटल 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 इकड़े इकड़े इम्पैक्ट यू कैन मेक नाइंटी डिग्री ग्राइंडर है ग्राइंडर कल कमी कर ग्राइंडर वर्कशॉप लगे लगे ओके हियर सर इम्पैक्ट isod impact test is there and sharpie impact test is there so uh, in front of me this is the machine okay and here is one scale is there one division 2 joules is there and here sharpie test one division 2 joules is there so here inner and outer two cases are there this is related to isods and this is related to sharpie you now uh, here is the actually the pendulum is there so here it is pendulum so here uh, we can see here this is the actually pendulum okay so height of pendulum uh, in case of isod you can make 90 degree means like this way height of this pendulum and in case of sharpie test uh, we can make 141.8 but we make it in this horizontal position and in case of isod we can make uh, in vertical position okay so uh, here i uh, we have kept one job it is in horizontal position see that this is the job notch is there which is designed as per indian standard specimen so we are going to conduct here sharpie test so here i will put in the horizontal position in the jaw opposite to the striking of the pendulum 
एंड एंगल इज वन फोर्टी वन वन फोर्टी एंगल इज वन फोर्टी वन सो हियर दिस इज चार्पी आउटर स्केल इट इज इन जीरो हाँ सो दिस एंगल इज वन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट एट पिक्चर लाइक है ओके नाउ दिस एंगल इज वन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट एट सो आफ्टर स्ट्राइकिंग यू विल गेट द इनर्जी ऑब्जॉर्ड बाय अ जॉब दैट इज इन जुल्स हाँ ओके सर रीडिंग रीडिंग सो दिस इज द रीडिंग वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन बरबर टू हंड्रेड इनिशियल टू हंड्रेड है थ्री हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड वन डिविजन है वन डिविजन टू जूल वन टू थ्री टू हंड्रेड थ्री टू हंड्रेड थ्री जूल सो दिस इज द स्पेसिम ब्रोकन स्पेसिम so energy of absorbed by this specimen 203 initially here it is 300 after this it has crossed to uh, 100 one two three divisions are there so this 300 minus 100 200 and 3 joules energy absorbed by this specimen this is called charpy test so you can remember this uh, maximum pendulum angle and the speed is there okay maximum impact energy of pendulum is 300 joules it is given in the scale of this so this is a 203 joules energy absorbed by this specimen to check the damping capacity in assembly of any component there is a need of this type of test impact shock absorbing capacity just like our spring steel or the impact loading just like forging dies uh, press tooling dies are there bending dies are there uh, whenever a tool steel uh, uh, material is there and impact loading is there uh, this type of test always uh, it has been carried out forging dies material absorbing uh, more energy it is expected to absorb the energy so how much energy that forging dies will absorb it is initially decided the uh, sample piece of the selected forging die material normally forging die material is a hard die steel uh, normally 21 h21 is there so you can uh, take certain samples and check how much energy that materials will get absorbed uh, if that material will capable to absorb that much energy then we can select this uh, materials for making forging die or any other impact loaded uh, dies press tooling dies also high carbon high chromium materials it has been also uh, tested how much energy that high carbon high chromium materials will get absorbed so this is also a need to detect at the initial stage if this criteria will not follow then in between in the case of production a die will get break and huge loss of uh, manufacturing of the die heat treatment of the die ultimately production will, will get stuck up so uh, in order to avoid the basic problems uh, in the impact loading uh, manufacturing in industry uh, there is a need to check this type of uh, uh, impact testing uh, uh, charpy or isod impact test so uh, now we have tested this charpy test now we go to the isod impact test so little bit difference between isod and charpy test
overla okay uh, in this case you will get the cantilevers and in this way you will get simply supported so you have to check in the simply supported stage as well as cantilever stage how much energy that job will absorb okay and according to that you have to decide we can select this material for any type of impact loaded component impact loaded component which are uh, the impact load uh, loading component in industry forging die you can see uh, see in bharat forge while doing the forging around 3 km sound is coming that means impact loading is there impact loading means energy it will get transfer in that die and the die will capable to absorb that energy without breaking correct without breaking that energy so initial stage of that die material we can test here now whatever the reading you will get this reading you can see in design data book if this reading is similar to that reading minimum no problem but below the limit specified in indian standard we can reach it so now today we have got 203 for mile steel and if indian standard has specified 200 okay we will accept this component because we have got three division more but uh, if this point is uh, below, below the 200 uh, whatever the indian standard has specified in the book design data book is there in this uh, design data book this energy is already specified mile steel this much low carbon this much medium carbon this high carbon this much so you can check this reading with uh, reading in the book book value definitely this is safe value you can go above the safe value should not go below the safe value so this everywhere such things will be there related to tensile related to impact related to hardness related to compression strength related to elongation everything it is given if you go in our central library design data book is there uh, first two three pages related to the material in that indian standard material is there c45 elongation yield tensile hardness it is given so if your material is c45 whatever reading specified in design data that is the minimum reading above this you can go but below this you can reject that component even though sometimes if you are not going to reject that component below uh, that reading is there ultimately product if you manufacture maybe your crankshaft connecting rod or any vehicle part machine part after some period it will get fail and that fail uh, that means it is no use of that component and early uh, failing means uh, uh, bad publicity of your component you will not get the revenue from this okay so this is about our this is about uh, our uh, importance of the mechanical property in industry this is your first responsibility as engineer to check the raw material what it contain in the raw material first of all suppose you have demanded e net material as per british standard so what it contain in e net material medium carbon steel is there magnesium is there silicon is there or any other material is there uh, that you have to check and uh, if that carbon magnesium sulfur phosphorus it is correct as per indian standard then okay whatever uh, material we have demanded en n material that is correct if that value tested value it, if it is below we can reject uh, before ten year back they used to conduct chemical analysis but nowadays petro is there japanese standard machines are available in industry within few minutes you will get how much carbon how much manganese how much sulfur it it contain immediately you will get within few uh, minutes few minutes means maximum 1 minute you will get all this and you can compare that reading with the design data book if it is okay no problem then you can go for mechanical testing mechanical testing you can check the tensile yield elongation isode hardness bhns hr weaker all, all this hardness we can test all this 
if all are okay as per that indian standard okay then we can allow this material for further production means maybe forging maybe extrusion maybe rolling maybe press tooling if without checking if you allowed you may be in the problem is it correct so initial stage in industry or initial responsibility of you people in industry to check the raw material chemical and mechanical purpose other than dimension other than dimension what are the dimension suppose i want to make one shaft having diameter 50 okay i demanded material 60 diameter so our requirement is 50 and we have demanded 60 after machining you will get 50 diameter finish diameter but sometimes the material uh, will get around 48 diameter also because in truck you are getting a lot of the billets or rolling parts are there in that somebody will get mix also 48 diameter also means. so uh, you can also check the dimensional also so you can dimensionally that is not that much important because uh, low skill worker we can uh, will check that or we can use the gazing system also no go go system also we can use so physically you can check and you can get it check from the unskilled worker also but as a engineer your role is there chemically and mechanically anyhow you have to check any material if you get fail in checking this last product will get fail and for that failing you are responsible am i vertical 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 put okay varna maharaja maharaja kala ओके 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 सो नाउ दिस इज अवर आइजोड इम्पैक्ट टेस्ट 90 डिग्री दिस पेंडुलम यू कैन पुट एट 90 डिग्री एंड गेट इट स्ट्राइक द मटेरियल विल गेट एंड इनसाइड पार्ट दिस इज द रीडिंग 168 इनिशियल है ना ओके रीडिंग 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 बेंड कर ओके ओके नो प्रॉब्लम this from this point you will get certain reading here and that reading is our reading uh, got through the isode impact test similar to charpe test okay so uh, one thing say here uh, you might have observed there is a need to uh, prepare the specific specimens as per the fixture requirement in the machine otherwise the uh, problems will be there uh, we have got successfully this test but uh, in our uh, isod impact test uh, uh, little bit problems uh, we have seen so tomorrow uh, we will send one video related to this uh, by changing this specimen so we will make the video tomorrow and send to uh, our uh, whatsapp group but uh, isod impact test it is normally vertical and charpe that is horizontal charpe this pendulum angle is 141.8 degree strike rate is there and energy uh, you will get from the outside scale uh, isod impact vertical specimen uh, angle of pendulum 90 and the energy energy it will get from the inside scale 
so ultimately in both case energy this is important but why horizontal and vertical horizontal means the energy absorbed in the simply supported positions and in vertical positions energy absorbed in the cantilever position otherwise there is no that much difference okay and why there is a need to uh, conduct this experiment every uh, uh, operation in industry just like forging impact loading is there rolling whenever impact loading operation is that related uh, die uh, capacity of absorbing energy in the raw material condition as per the indian standard it has been tested okay and after heat treatment normally it will get increased but initially you have to get it checked so in short in the two this uh, uh, mechanical property tensile and isod impact a uh, main thing to check the mechanical property of the raw material and then we can allow this material for further production chemical and mechanical you can test initially and then you can allow this material for further production maybe forging production maybe your extrusion production maybe welding production press tooling machining okay uh, without testing uh, you cannot allow any material for further production so this is the core concept related to this uh, how to check the hardness of this uh, next uh, uh, our practical we will going to check with the help of rockwell testing machine so you you can see here we have our one rockwell testing machine ha uh, rajesh sir so here sir uh, we have uh, one rockwell testing machine so next practical sir uh, will going to see how to check the hardness types of hardness but now why we are not conducting we have not covered the syllabus related to this so that's why once our theoretical parts will get over then we'll come to the practical of hardness testing here so we can check the rockwell hardness brinels and weaker hardness three types of hardness are there nowadays in industry micro hardness is there so next practical so we'll going to check uh, what is the uh, hardness why there is a need of the hardness uh, which are the machines available for hardness testing and what is the importance of hardness testers for any material because the uh, tensile strength is ultimately depends upon the hardness but uh, very high hardness that material will become brittle optimum hardness you will get optimum tensile and good product okay now on this table also you can see we have got the lot of material from the uh, various department of government to test the uh, mechanical property of this uh, torque steel the name of this steel it is called torque steel okay torque steel is there torque steel so we can test here tensile yield elongation isod impact and hardness also so one piece we are getting certain consultancy you can start your own business also with the help of this machine also it is also possible in industry okay so thank you we will conclude today's sessions if anybody having any a questions you can ask me or you can put messages to me on my whatsapp but don't keep uh, any doubt in your mind okay so thank you shall we stop here okay thank you